see you. Yeah, right. Well, glad to be back. Right. Good to see you. Right. Uh, well, uh, <coughs> first of all, the good news. Seems weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the good news is that it's welcome relief from the uh, what should be one of the hottest weeks of the summer. Okay. Uh, because temperatures are going to drop 10 to 30 degrees. So we may even have hailstorms in parts of the Northeast. Oh, okay. The bad news is <coughs> it represents perhaps instability of the North Polar region. Okay. Now remember that uh, in January we had that horrible, horrible winter. Yes. Um, the winter that was really quite punishing, right? Yeah. That's because the North Polar regions are warming up. Mm -hmm. And as they warm up, the polar vortex at the very center of the North Pole mm -hmm. becomes unstable. Mm -hmm. And pieces of it break off. And when these pieces of it break off, they come over North America, causing the enormous destruction of uh, last winter. So this could be part of that. Um, we think that what's happening is there's a cold Arctic mass coming from the North Pole, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. colliding with the remnants of the typhoon that hit Japan, and that's causing Japan. the jet stream. Oh, okay. That's causing the jet stream to go much lower than. Uh, so than the weather in Japan could affect what's happening here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, whenever people think July, they think no matter where you are, it's going to be hot. And yeah. That's just surprise, surprise. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just not the case. No. Right. I've already been chatting with you. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd been here earlier. I haven't seen him in a long time. That's right. Mm -hmm. And does it feel different to you? Because, listen, for me, I had my first ever soccer viewing party. I was so proud of myself. Decorated the room, Team USA, <coughs> got red, white, and blue cupcakes. And it was such a thing in the office at O Magazine that everybody stopped what they were doing to watch. But this happened all around the country. So to me, it felt different. Did, it feel, did this time feel different to you? Because Gooch was here last week. He goes, now you guys always do this. Mm -hmm. You know, every four years, everybody gets all ramped up. But then it just dies. But did it feel different to you, the way the, the country, the world watched Team USA? It does. I mean, it, it continues to grow, I think, every World Cup. Okay. And I haven't been, I wasn't back to really experience like what is what what's the change has been or what or, or what have you? But, but your friends told you. Yeah, friends told me, and it's the fact that more people are are saying, more people are saying what you said. This everything stopped. People watch, yes. and, and in a way I'd never seen. Before. Yes, so I think I think it's it's changing and, and moving in the right direction.